my name's Gail and this is Tracy. We work at the Transportation Department. We work with bus drivers, assistants, teachers, schools, students, and families to keep you safe on the bus. Today we will help you understand about your role in keeping everyone safe on the bus. We will learn about what to do if there is an emergency and we will also go over the rules for bus stop behavior and behavior on the bus. We have a video for you to watch from the Minnesota State Patrol. This video will help you understand how to ride the bus safely. I'm Lieutenant Brian Rue with the State Patrol. School buses are the safest mode of transportation for getting students to and from school. With that said, there are a few things we want you to keep in mind while on or around the school bus. On the bus, it may be tempting to want to goof around and have fun with your friends. Hey guys, let's not do that. It's going to distract the bus driver, okay? But you need to remember that students can do their part in helping the bus driver get to school or get you home safely. Just turn around and sit forward in your seats, please, and get your things out of the aisle. The bus driver needs to concentrate on driving at all times. They can't be distracted by kids misbehaving in the back. Just one distraction can take a bus driver's eyes off the road. And when that happens, crashes can happen in the blink of an eye. Turn around and sit down in your seat, please. We want your bus driver to be able to drive safely, and having well-behaved students on the bus is going to help the driver do their job. Safety on the bus starts at the bus stop. It's important for students to arrive at the bus stop at least five minutes early so they are not running into the street or down the sidewalk to get to the bus at the last second. Remember to respect the property of others while waiting for the bus. As the bus arrives, students should form a single line and wait on the sidewalk or a safe spot away from the road. Allow the bus to come to a complete stop. Don't start moving until the driver signals that it's safe to do so. Once the doors are open and the bus driver gives you the signal to board the bus, give your fellow students enough room to step onto the bus and walk to their seats. Don't crowd each other and don't push or rush to get to your favorite seat. There are plenty of spots for everyone. Always avoid the danger zones. The danger zone is any area within 10 feet of the bus, especially avoid the areas directly in front of and towards the right rear of the bus. Once you are on the bus, make sure you stay seated until the bus comes to a full stop at your destination. Never cross the street without waiting for the driver's signal that it's safe to cross. If you must cross the street, always cross in front of the bus. Walk at least 10 feet in front of the bus so the driver can see you at all times and know that all of the students have made it safely across the road. When we are on the bus, it's important we do our job to help the bus driver out. We need to make sure not to distract the bus driver. That means no fighting, throwing things, or standing up on the bus. We all need to help the bus driver concentrate on driving. When we are heading to school or home, we should use our inside voices. Keep our hands to ourselves, keep the aisle clear, and stay seated with our backs against the seat. This will let the bus driver see us in their mirror and keep you safe if we are ever in a crash. Finally, if you see kids not following the school bus safety rules, it's all of our responsibility to help the bus driver. Don't be afraid to speak up and tell your friends to sit down or stop throwing objects. Let's not do that, okay? While school bus crashes are rare, it's important to always know how to evacuate the bus safely. Hey, everybody, we have to remain calm. In the event of an emergency, it may be necessary to evacuate. If the bus driver is injured and can't communicate with the students, the students should evacuate and call for help. As we evacuate, I need everybody to go into the field about 30 yards away. The older students on the bus may need to take charge and help the younger students evacuate. There are three types of emergency exits inside most buses. One in the rear of the bus and another one or two on the roof. Most buses also have side emergency exit windows. Everybody line up in a single file line, we'll exit out the back. The entrance door can be used as a point of evacuation. Leave all your items on the bus, we'll get those later. If evacuation is necessary, students should always use the closest and safest exit to get off the bus. Is everybody all right? Remain calm and leave all of your belongings on the bus. Proceed directly to the best exit. I need the older students to help. We need to do emergency exit out of the roof hatches. If the bus rolls on its side, the safest exit may be on the roof. You may need to help each other through the emergency exit. Okay, good job guys, get away from the bus. Once you're outside of the bus. Okay, we need a single file line. We need to cut off everybody, make sure everybody's all right. Students should all meet and stay together in a safe place that is away from other traffic, danger areas, fire, smoke, or other responding vehicles. Is there anybody hurt? Bus safety is all of our responsibility. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Each student riding the bus should commit to helping keep everyone safe so we can all get home at the end of the day. 
let's review safe bus stop and safe crossing procedures. In the morning, be to your bus stop at least five minutes early. If you need to cross the street to get to your bus stop, stop at the edge of the road or curb, look left, then right, and left again before crossing to look for traffic. When waiting for the bus to arrive, treat the bus stop property with care and behave in a kind and safe manner with other students when you board the bus. Use the handrail, carefully walk down the aisle, and select a seat. Sit seat to seat, back to back, and keep the aisle clear. In the afternoon, pay attention and watch for your assigned stop. Collect your belongings prior to your stop and be ready to exit the bus when the driver comes to a complete stop at your assigned bus stop. Exit the bus by walking safely down the aisle. As you depart the bus, use the handrail and carefully walk down the steps. Be careful as there may be students in front of you or behind you. If you must cross the street after exiting the bus, walk at least 10 feet ahead of the bus until you can turn around and see the driver signal to you that it is safe to cross. Always engage in kind and safe behavior as you make your way home. Now, let's look at some safety equipment on each bus. Inside each and every bus, we have emergency equipment. First, we have our two-way radio. This is used to communicate with the office and the transportation department, both on a daily basis and in an emergency. Let me show you how we use it. We have a handset with a button and you speak when the button is pushed. Bus 441, radio check to base please. We can hear you at base loud and clear. Additionally, there's a fire extinguisher in the case of a fire. Also, over the head in this bus, we have a first aid kit for any injuries that occur on the bus. The bus driver is trained in all of these pieces of equipment. It's important to know your emergency exits in the bus in case there is an emergency. We have a rear exit for emergencies out the back. We also have windows that can be used as emergency exits. We also have a roof hatch that can be opened in an emergency for an exit also. Emergency exits are for emergency use only. Please only use the emergency exits in an emergency or when instructed by the driver. Remember, in every emergency, listen to your bus driver's directions. They will tell you what to do and where to go. You may use the front door during an emergency also. If you ride on a bus or van equipped with seat belts, you must wear your seat belt at all times. Let's review how to properly wear your seat belt. Properly buckling up with a three-point lap shoulder belt on your school bus is very similar to how you buckle up in a car. First, when you are properly seated, facing forward and sitting up straight, pull the seatbelt out away from your body. Make sure the belt is over your shoulder and around the upper body. Do not let the belt get twisted. Insert the seatbelt into the buckle. Now, listen for the click. Check that the buckle connection is firm by tugging your seatbelt. Next, tighten the lap portion of your seatbelt by pulling up on the shoulder belt. Be sure it's snug across the chest and crosses the center of the shoulder. The lap portion of the seatbelt should be below the waist, not over the stomach. Finally, position the shoulder height adjuster at or just above the shoulder. The seatbelt should never cross the face or neck. Buckle, check, tight, your seatbelt is right. Riding on the bus is a privilege and we need everyone's help to stay safe. If you see something, say something. This means if you see someone being unsafe, tell the bus driver, the principal, a teacher, or a parent. Students who cannot follow the bus rules may be given a consequence, like an assigned seat, possibly being suspended from the bus, or even not being able to ride the bus at all. Each bus has cameras to help us monitor student and driver behavior. South Washington County Schools has bus rules that are posted on every bus right above the bus driver. These are the rules posted on your school bus. 
One, be on time and be clear of the danger zone. Two, follow the bus driver's instruction. Three, remain seated and facing forward at all times. Hey guys, we need to sit seat to seat, back to back, and keep the aisle clear. Thank you. Four, fasten your seatbelt if your bus has seatbelts. Five, for your safety, your head and arms must remain in the bus. Six, cell phones are allowed, but taking photos or recording with any device is not allowed. Seven, be courteous of one another. Bullying is not acceptable. Eight, please eat and drink before getting on the bus. Nine, help keep the bus in good shape by clearing your own personal items, including trash, and treating the bus as your own. 10. Please do not throw objects inside or out of the bus. Hey Sarah, can you stop drawing the ball? It's unsafe and it's distracting to the driver. 11. Like in school, dangerous objects or weapons are not allowed, including real weapons or toys. Remember, you may only ride the bus you are assigned to. You cannot ride another bus or have friends ride on your bus. We may provide students with a bus pass in emergency situations. Your parents can contact the transportation department if an emergency bus pass is needed. Hi Wyatt! I see you're riding the bus with Thomas today. Welcome to the bus! Have a seat guys! Thank you for participating in our safety training today. You play a very important part of keeping the bus safe. See you on the bus!